Ulysses S. Grant and William T. Sherman, two extremely important Union generals during the Civil War who, by using innovative war tactics, ultimately won Lincoln in the North the war. But they were not always so successful. Both generals had to overcome staggering losses that could have ended their military careers in an instant. On April 6, 1862, a year after the Union's defeat at the First Battle of Bull Run, General Grant endured a catastrophic surprise attack along the Tennessee River near Shiloh Church. The Union soldiers were caught off guard and suffered many losses. Grant redeemed himself the following day by crushing out Confederate forces, but not without a cost. 13,000 Union soldiers were left either dead or wounded, along with another 10,000 Confederate troops. General Sherman was also affected by the Shiloh battle, since he commanded a division of soldiers which was overrun by Confederates during the battle. Despite this, he was promoted to Major General of Volunteers a month later. A year later, the siege of Vicksburg along the Mississippi River truly set the stage for the progression of General Grant. The Siege of Vicksburg in 1863 signified many things for General Grant. In his almost three month long onslaught of Vicksburg, Grant captured nearly 30,000 Confederate troops along with killing and severely wounding about 3,000 of them. You know, the capture of Vicksburg effectively split the Confederacy in two and uh, set the stage for General Sherman's march to the sea about a year later. Now, Grant did pull through and persevere in this battle, or this onslaught, this siege of Vicksburg. He did lose quite a few of his own troops, about 5,000 to be specific. And, uh, as a result of the capture of Vicksburg and the capturing of so many Confederate troops, President Lincoln promoted General Grant to General in Chief of the Union Army, thus making him a more prominent figure in the already strong Union scene. After Vicksburg, the Battle of Gettysburg and the Union's victory further solidified the North's progression towards victory in the war. That progression was momentarily halted, though, with the Battle of the Wilderness, which took place from May 5th to 7th, 1864. General Grant and the Union's forces were almost 102,000 troops strong, and General Lee's army was comprised of about 62,000 men. The fighting was vicious and lasted for a couple days, and ended with 17,666 dead and wounded Union troops, along with 11,000 dead and wounded Confederates. Grant retreated from the battle since he saw no benefit from continuing his fighting. Nearly five months later, Generals Grant and Sherman believed that the war would only come to an end if they completely demolished the Confederacy's strategic, economic, and psychological capacity for warfare. General Sherman began his march to the sea on November 15th and ordered his troops to burn Confederate crops, kill livestock, and consume supplies or in other words, to conduct total war. Dang all, you know, Sherman marched to the sea. Dang all, you know, Georgia here, you know, you know, south, you know, Georgia, Atlanta, North, North Carolina, you know, south, Charleston, you know, all that, you know, say, you know, and march to the sea. And, you know, dang all that, it's on total decimation, you know, south economy, woo down the you know, you know, flush it down. Damn. You know, and you know, that's something, you know, just burning houses, you know. Damn. You know, and I uh, dang, you know, you know, something, you know, grand. You know, I'm gonna fight him you know, on horseback, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, you know, dang, you know, that, you know, like, so, you know, you know, there's some, you know, a big war, you know. <laughs> Uh, dang old something like dang old you know, explosions, cannon fire, <laughs> oh, dang old something like you know, and dang old something like, you know, there's lots of people killed, like, big, big, lots of people killed, you know, and there's like seven, dang old, you know, dang old, you know, one of them one, you know, dang old, you know, plus, dang old, no, 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 man, it's not that old, oh, dang old, I'm just like, hey, here, pie over here, there's a cue, there's, 
Some uh, seventy says how so divide cut your hair slice it in half I saw you half the time here I thought I don't down and yeah it works out. Four months later, the Confederacy surrendered to Union forces at the Appomattox Courthouse in Richmond, Virginia. The war was finally over. I am tired and sick of war. Its glory is all moonshine. It is only those who have neither fired a shot nor heard the shrieks and groans of the wounded who cry aloud for blood, for vengeance, for desolation. War is hell.